three questions addressing affordability and housing. And so just to read and remind that I have the questions. Uh, the first would be on homestead exemption. So while the homestead exemption helps reduce the property tax burden for homeowners, an increase in that exemption also has the effect of lowering tax revenues. This has the potential to create less funding for critical public services that support individuals and families who are the most vulnerable. Will you oppose any increase in homestead exemption unless it can be demonstrated not to reduce funding for programs that support the most vulnerable in our community? Next question on affordability. Will you commit to dedicating the majority of the city of Austin affordable housing dollars, including from the general budget and housing bonds like Proposition A, to residents making 60% of area median income or less? The next will be, will you commit to prioritizing affordable housing, placement for economically displaced families, including displaced Austinites, like Ms. Elisa Gonzalez, who may be living outside of city limits, and or families that are now in the process of being economically displaced. So, District 1 candidate, Mr. Hardy, will you please respond to this question? We'll have 30 seconds for us. Yes, yes, yes. As the grandson of the minister, I was always ingrained to look after the least of these. And so I would not vote to increase homestead exemption if it's going to come off the back of those who are less fortunate. As we take a look at affordable housing, this is our chance to make sure we provide a very basic fundamental need for shelter for those less fortunate. So I will pledge that the majority of those funds will go to 60% MFI or below. And then lastly, we should be looking to have people that have been displaced come back into the city of Austin. We do that through dedicated affordable housing. Thank you, Mr. Harper. 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 Thank you, Mr. was a renter and a mother of four and a grandmother and now a homeowner. I understand all of these issues and that we must work together. We have, and under People's Plan, we have moved these objects and these uh, priorities forward and I will work with all of you because I believe only together can we reclaim, remain, and rebuild our city for people of all incomes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all three. What I have done is I we uh, gave the uh, we rezoned the, the challenge court up to 60 feet. So they're going to build brand new housing, over 400 units for section 8 people with two, three, and four foot bedroom housing. Also, go ground in Rebecca Bay, Johnson, where the senior citizens are going to have brand new apartment building, double the size there. So I have been out there working hard for affordable housing. Again, uh, yes, yes, and yes. And for you to know that in Southwest Austin, there's still a need. We get hit with the affluency of the district, yet we still have foundation communities, we still have mobile home parks, we still have conventional public housing. So this is important not just to one specific district, but to the entire city. And so we must like make sure that we protect those who, who, who struggle with housing on a daily basis. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, yes, and yes. So, with regard to the housing bonds, I think actually that 60% is a little too high. So I would actually support a lower goal than that. I think that 60%, um, uh, we can do better than that. And then also with regard to the homestead exemption, I'm not really sure you will be able to demonstrate that it will not have an impact on uh, the most vulnerable in our community. We need to be supporting a homestead exemption for people with seniors and persons with disabilities. That's the way to do it. It's not to just increase the percentage. And just to clarify, stay up there. So that's a yes, 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 yes at minimum. And what you're interpreting or what you're saying is you'll go further. Yes, further. Thank you. Thank you. Mayoral candidates. Nope. District 9 candidates, Ms. Skidmore and Ms. Togo. In alphabetical order, please. Once again, yes to all three. With respect to the homestead exemption, 
you know, it is important that we give people tools to stay in their property, but we need an exemption that is a flat exemption so that it helps the neediest in our community the most. And one that is percentage-based does not do that. And with respect to uh, question, oh, I'm sorry. Ms. Skidmore, just to clarify, so is that a yes or a no on the homestead exemption? Oh, it's a yes. Okay. Absolutely yes. I'll leave it there. Thank you. And the other two questions? Yes and yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yes, and yes. I have great concerns about a uh, homestead exemption that's percentage-based. We absolutely need a flat rate. I have introduced measures um, along those regards to, live, to raise that. In terms of affordable housing, this is a, a dire area. I have um, introduced measures that are moving forward to explore a right to return policy. I think that's critically important, a tenant's right to own property, um, and we need to be building on our city owned lands. And I have um, introduced legislation to do all of those things, and I'm committed to seeing them through. Thank you. Yes, I'm all three questions. In my policy and practice with respect to the homestead exemption, I've voted consistent with that for the last four years. Uh, 660% is where a grade is needed. It needs to be prioritized. Please, everybody, vote for Prop A and get everyone to know to vote for Prop A in the November election. Uh, displacement, I supported the uh, proposal for resolution from the Mayor Pro Tem about the right of return. Uh, I think we need to go farther than that as well. I support creating a registry so that people qualify for those units. And when a unit becomes available anywhere in the city, the next person on the list has first shot. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Adams. <laughs> 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 strong, strong measures when I was on the council on affordable housing issues and I continued that work on the time that I've been off council and I fully intend to continue that work uh, as the mayor. Um, the fact of the matter is that the people that are being pushed out of this town are the people that built this town. And, and it, is, it is our responsibility to help them come back and it is just to help them come back. So I'm fully Thank you, Mr. Morgan.